it is a low yield, deep underground military base. It's not military. Uh, Wackenhut base, basically. It's buried about 500 feet underground. It is a long runway underground. It's about three miles long. It's got 2,700 prison cells in it. There's a track on either side of it. Food and, uh, and shower facilities are all on, they're kind of like individual cars on tracks, and they service each prisoner. You get to change your clothes once a week, you get a shower once a week, no television, no nothing, totally underground, minimum lighting facilities. If you talk, you are beaten, senseless. 2,700 federal prisoners are in it right now. The worst of the worst. I don't know about you, folks. I learned an old, old song in church. The vilest defender who truly believes a pardon in Jesus is quickly received. I don't believe we have, we or anybody else in these United States has the right to torture anybody. I don't care if they're a murderer a rapist or anything else. We should basically get rid of these kind of individuals. But if we do have the guts and maybe a little bit of fortitude to kind of hope that, well, I don't want murder on my hands, and we imprison them, I don't believe this is the way. Question. Well, like I said before, start forming cells, enclaves, I hate to say this, enclave has a peculiar nasty overtone to it, but start forming enclaves, start talking to people, talk your head off. Talk your head off because your life depends on it. I'm not asking you to do what I'm doing. I'm asking you to risk your life for these United States like I am doing. Question over here. Yes, I'll give you my address. These beings are alien in that they come from other planets. Otherwise, uh, we have the theory of being extraterrestrial. Have you and all your studies ever tried to determine whether or not there was an alternative answer? Rather than being extraterrestrial, are they extra dimensional? And if so, what have you discovered and what authority? Mouth, able to show that as a okay. Let's take one thing at a time here. Extra dimensional, they could very easily be. Al Bailey will uh, probably tell you about that in his talk. When we blew up the A bomb tests, and later the A bomb, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and all the other tests that took place, we basically opened up a hole in time. And the reason I know this is Al Bailey told me. If you look in an early 1953 Life magazine, you'll find a picture of an A-bomb and it, it, there's a round mushroom cloud and through the mushroom cloud you can see black space with stars. Unfortunately, those stars don't add up to any known stars in our, in our view. And so Al Bielik was telling me, yeah, that opened up another dimension out uh, and Life magazine almost lost its license to print. Uh, but yeah, you're right there. Uh, your other questions, uh, some of which I can or cannot answer. Uh, right now, as much information as I have, I like to say I'm a scientist, but I think that's got a kind of a bad connotation anymore. But anyway, as a scientist, I like to say that in all my studies, I have every reason to believe outer space aliens are another form, another tool, another system of technology to enslave the wonderful people of the United States of America and the world under a one world government. And this scenario occurred in Nazi Germany and is now occurring in the United States and it's got to go. Otherwise, we're going to go. Next question over here. Now what's the reason for the base? Pretty, pretty obviously, 
take all the 129 dumb bases, right now there's actually 131 of them. Take 129 or 131 dumb bases, 10% of them, roughly 14 of them, the largest. They're all cities underground. There's high-speed railways, magnetoleviton trains that have obtained Mach 2, and Al Bielik will tell you about this in his talk. He's uh, seen them, actually been on one of them. I've seen the tunnels. I've never been on the train. Uh, he'll tell you that also that these can house great numbers of people. Well, I'll tell you exactly how many numbers of people could get a 106 million man standing army fully equipped with all the food, water, and provisions for two years underground or however long it took to suffer out a nuclear war or whatever kind of a ugly scenario and that would be enough to defeat anybody in the United States. By the way, there's no place to hide anymore. Black helicopters, and there's so many of them, not just black ones, I'm talking about military helicopters in general too. Uh, they have detection devices. If you got something buried like a cache of weapons or diamonds or gold or money or whatever underground, they've seen it already, guaranteed. They can detect you in an airport. I'm going to blow this one by you too because this is a nice little tidbit. Right now, if you're carrying more than $1,000 in your pocket, most of us don't, and some of us do, carrying $1,000 or more in your pocket, you are perceived as being an enemy of the United States and, and or a drug dealer, and you can be arrested immediately in any airport in the United States of America. By the way, if you look at your money, your 50, 100s, 20s, 10s, 5s, whatnot, and even the 1s now, You'll find there's a little thread in there. If you look at it, like on a hundred dollar bill, it'll say 100, and it'll have a, a little number in the 100, 100, 100, and 100 dollar marks all the way on both sides. It's a little uh, kind of like a little thing that tells you that the beast is still there. We don't do anything about it, folks. The beast is going to claim us every one of us. You can question. Any more? Okay. Okay, the underground prisoners right now, they're using the worst of the federal prisoners and the worst of, yeah, the criminals. That's correct. And uh, that's pretty obvious. You add up all the if you add it up 143 per car, multiplied by 107,200, multiplied by 11 general contractors, each with a similar contract, you're going to come up with a figure that exceeds 15 million. 15 million is the number of patriots in America, number of concerned people in America, and also a number of people that could cause the federal government harm in America today. Today, right now. I'm saying our federal government blew up Oklahoma without question. Clearly proven. First of all, what did it? If you look in the pictures of the explosion, you'll find there is a large block taken out near the elevator shaft, and there's a smaller explosion. By the way, a nitrate explosive has a maximum capacity of 20, 000, excuse me, of 20 kips worth of pressure per square inch. A kip, a kip is kilotons of pressure, thousand tons. So 20,000 tons of pressure per square inch maximum. If you had the whole truck totally packed. Well, by the way, the federal building in Oklahoma City was have some pretty strong girders in it. Girders and pillars and stuff like that. Uh, the average federal building, especially a new one like this one, has a tensile strength of 200,000 kips. The only thing to tear it apart like that is either a nuclear weapon or a thermite charged 
shape charge explosive. Right now, the only thermite charge explosives in these United States are military operated and they are housed at Mather Air Force Base in California, near Sacramento. Yes? there were two explosions I wasn't really aware of that, but if there were two explosions, I would assume that one was either a reverberate explosion or it was an atmospheric explosion. It's on the uh, South University. It wasn't an echo. I'd have to look at it. Really? Okay. Right there. Okay. And this is the second explosion. Is that correct? Right. They're both on right together. Mm -hmm. Well, the truck bomb shows an explosion uh, once again with no P wave, but it has a scalar wave to it. Could have been a scalar weapon, electromagnetic weapon of some sort. The train explosion once again also has a, P it does have a P wave, but doesn't have an N wave. Therefore, it too must be a device. Oh, it is. Okay. All right. I heard the director being interviewed, and he said the same thing. There were two explosions, and uh, they asked him if it could have been inside. And he said, well, this one here that says truck bomb. No, that's not the bomb. No, truck bomb. No, this. Okay. It says oh, truck and bomb. I see. Okay. Uh, the one that's the two that are marked bomb. Once again, have the configuration, it's called a squared sine wave configuration, or crazy Ivan, as the Navy calls it. Uh, squared sine wave with no P wave, it would have to be a mechanical device, without question. I could, I could prove that, but it uh, would be kind of boring laying the figures out. Okay, another question? Yes, yes, Frank. How do you respond to Christians who are apathetic about saying it's all uh, prophesied in the Bible anyway, um, the New World Order, the Mark of the Beast, and, you know, I want Jesus to come anyway, so, you know, why fight it? Well, how do you respond to that? Prudence. What you know best to be. Pray about it. Prayer. That's the only prudence around word saving. This lady here is Okay. Is it true that you know that you're going to balance your stuff with a board that you need to get a different task from all It's a quite a possibility because uh, for instance, uh, the New World Order and the elite, as we call it, um, built and funded Hubble Telescope. We remember also that telescope, the, the one that orbited Mars, supposedly shut down. That was another lie, total lie. Took detailed photographs, totally mapped the planet. I've seen some of the photographs. Uh, the face on Mars is a reality. There, at one time, there was a civilization. Um, that's been proven. Computer uh, enhancement photograph, and it was broken down by a supercomputer and proved it to be an uh, intelligent made device rather than a hunk of rock with a funny shadow on it that NASA told us another lie. Once again, you have to remember it. These people cannot tell the truth. In days past, they were called the sons of Belial, the ones that could not tell the truth. We have to consider them our enemy. Next, just follow. Yes, they do have bases on Mars. Have you heard of uh, the possibly these raids are uh, part of the, the experiments which our government are doing under base of taking the synthetic of all these creatures that perhaps they're manufacturing? No, sir, I can, I can tell you right now that's not so. They have a copper oxide for a blood similar to an octopus, a cephalopod, or an insect, or a spider. Another thing is they're uh, chromosomal structure is totally different 
Your cellular structure is totally different. No, sir, that's not true at all. 